Welcome back. If you've ever dealt with itchy, irritated skin, finding the cause can be a little bit frustrating. There is an in-office procedure that can take away the guesswork and help you find out what truly you're allergic to. And it's easy and painless. We're about to tell you all about it. Dermatologist with UT Physicians and assistant professor at McGovern Medical School, Dr. Megan Rogie, is joining us now to explain how this all works. Dr. Rogie, welcome. Thank you. Thanks oh, for having me. So essentially, when someone has a skin reaction, a rash may not appear for a day or a few days, but their skin is reacting to some substance they're allergic to, right? An allergen. Right. So um, uh, we call it allergic contact dermatitis in our office. Um, uh, which is just an itchy skin rash that comes out after you have contact to an allergen that you're allergic to. Like so poison ivy. Poison or... ivy, plants, metals, things in your cosmetics, um, personal care products like shampoos, lotions, all these things can cause skin allergy. Uh, but it is a delayed reaction, like you said. So usually about one to three days after exposure to the allergen is when you develop the itchy skin rash. Huh. And Dr. Rogi, would this be something that like a baby would have or would like we all of a sudden develop an allergic reaction later in life so anybody people of all ages young old um, all races both male and female anyone is uh, able to develop an allergic contact dermatitis so it affects everybody does that mean though that like let's say when I'm 30 I'm not allergic to something but now later in life suddenly I develop an allergy exactly so I have patients all the time who say dr. Rogi I've been using this skin cream for 30 years there's no way that I'm allergic but um, actually, you can develop a skin allergy at any point in your life to any of the things that your, your skin is exposed to. So really, just because you've been using something forever or you've never had a problem with itchy skin rash before doesn't mean that you can't that develop it. That is terrible it. news. It's, I know. It's kind of... <laughs> it is. Yeah, but pay attention to that rash because it's not just blow it off kind of a thing, right? right? Um, what are some of the most common skin allergies out there? So the most common, which everybody's probably aware of, is poison ivy. Um, so certain plants you can be allergic to. Poison ivy, actually 40 to 50% of the U.S. population would react to poison ivy upon oh, wow. exposure. Um, other things that are common are metals. So nickel is the most common um, metal that people are allergic to. You can find metal in things like jewelry, belt buckles, glasses, earrings, earrings right? Oh, things yeah. like that. Um, also fragrances, uh, preservatives, things that are found in those personal care products we were discussing like makeup, lotions, creams, things like that. And finally even topical antibiotics that you can buy over the counter you can actually have an allergy to. So things like neomycin, bacitracin, those ingredients, you a lot, many people are allergic to them. And Dr. Rogi, okay, so you already laid this out and explained that mm -hmm. you may not develop a rash until a few days later, right. making it difficult for you to maybe trace the source exactly. of what caused that rash. But you guys have this really cool new test that involves a patch, mm -hmm. and you're going to show us how it works? Yep. I'll show you how it works. Okay, let's go for it. So um, so we have these uh, allergy chambers, and basically what we do is in the office, you don't, you know, you guys don't see this part, but we fill them with these allergens. So okay. um, we're testing you to specific substances. So this one is a metal uh, that people can commonly be allergic to. And basically we fill these chambers with different allergens. Um, and then all we do is we basically, it's a sticky uh, uh, thing here. It's called a skin patch, and we can cool. go ahead and... Most uh, people we test on their back, but um, here I'm just showing you how the skin patch uh, fixes to the arm. So the skin patch testing, we place these patches on your back, usually on a Monday. Uh, on Wednesday, after wearing the patches for 48 hours in place, we remove the patches and then we'll um, draw a grid on your back end marker. And then on fr Thursday afternoon or Friday, you'll come back for your final reading to see what you may have reacted positively to, what you might be allergic to. So gone are the days of sort of the long, the pricking and all of that, right? This is a very simple patch test. So uh, this skin patch test is actually different than skin prick testing. Okay. So skin prick testing will test you for allergies that you might have that are causing other symptoms like runny nose, sore throat, shortness of breath. If you feel like whenever you come into, um, let's say contact with pet uh, pet dander, molds, um, certain um, things, that, uh, foods, things like that, you still want to see an allergist for skin prick testing. This is really just testing to see what products, when they come into contact with, with your, your skin, skin. will with cause an itchy skin rash, not those other symptoms. Well, and what's great about finding out what, what you're actually allergic to is mm -hmm. then people can just avoid 
exactly. getting in contact with those. I mean, the, the whole strategy here is not to try to prescribe someone medications and deal with it in that way. The whole strategy is avoiding the allergens in the first place, right? Exactly. So um, I have access to a database that basically I can input your specific allergens and then um, I can get a safe list of products that are safe for you to use on your skin. These include everything from soaps, uh, shampoos, laundry detergents, gloves, many different products that your skin would come into contact with that are safe, that don't uh, include the allergens that you reacted positively to. Dr. Megan Rogie, thank you so much. No this problem. is very interesting, yes. great info. And if you'd great. like more info or to schedule an appointment with Dr. Rogie or any other dermatologist, call 888-4-UT-DOCS or log on to utphysicians.com. And we'll be right back.